The death of Google Plus was a surprise to all of us users. We know the story, the rise and the fall. To random posting, trying to find who we were, to making new friends are sharing dank F memes, to role playing and hardships. It was our home, our paradise. But bugs, data leaks, and out of control spams destroyed our world. And we though our online enemies were the problem. Thus, leading to the shutdown of Google in 2019. So what happened? To me, if you look at most social media platforms, their business is the social media app itself. Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, etc. Companies is the social media itself, nothing else. Google, however, acts as a multi-source. Being a resource for search, working in docs, YouTube, payment, business organization and knowledge. Google is multiple things and has multiple outlets of ability for users to create. And if compare all of this to Google, the only difference is that you're meeting people online to share your creations with. This is beneficial, or at least it could have been. But Google isn't known for social media, it's known for tracing information and creativity. Not saying that Google doesn't care about plus. It's just that the downsides of a social media platform and their balance to control it is out of their reach. This is all in my opinion of course. Pretty sure there is a more logical reason. But the reason I'm making this story is about how to keep our fantasies alive. To most users, Google was an escape for reality to me, reality just haunted me more. Because of the creativity it gave from person to person to person to person was phenomenal. Its layout was simple and understanding perfect for my oct. So how do we make a world like G? Well, instead of making a replica, let's look at ourselves. How did we make G so special? The answer our friends, our creativity, us. We. You. You made it special. You can go on any social media platform anywhere, if you have the creativity, you can make anywhere like our home, Google. Huh? I kind of want to leave it off right there. It's the ultimatum. I have a dead mouse playlist jamming out writing this story. But, nah, that would be little of me, I'm not going to leave you out right here. So I assume you're wondering how such a speck of the universe like you make such a gigantical impact on one giant social platform? Well, a speck like you met a bunch of more specs and all of your universal specs made one giant speck. Basically, all of us are different. And all of our differenceness make one giant beautiful disaster we loved. Like a battle royale paint by war with a bunch of fictional characters at a buffet house on a snowy day. We were different, but in some way we were still united. Okay, I don't want to drag the Google thing on, it'll rot your eyes and minds. So, how to keep your fantasies alive? Well, it's more easy nowadays. You can copy bus to you and your friends chat to a doc and print it out. Make a story out of it or whatever. You can save your artwork and music to a hard drive and publish it to distributions to make a profit from it. You can contact all your online friends via private text to meet up offline or exchange phone. Or let it die. Let it all die. Don't be discouraged, it's healthy to let some things die off. You won't be able to save every little thing from every website. It's just logical and healthy. Save the most important memories, chats, images, music, videos, anything important. And somehow, make a profit from it. Why? Nothing lasts forever, including our favorite platforms. Think about how many websites closed down or stopped working. We may never know if one of the big ones may collapse too, like our friend Google. This is where the take matters into your own hands part comes in. Okay. Wow! It's okay I have bad anxiety too. But this anxiety can save us all a lot of heart and headache. I'm telling you this so you won't fall flat on your face to a trap of escaping your reality. When you try to escape reality, eventually, reality gets harder to face. I know your favorite online celebs tell you that it's okay to think like that, but I disagree. As a young guy going through financial stumps and unemployment with a single mother who's been in a financial stump ever since she was released into the world, how the hell can I escape that? Not casing myself onto you, but it's just the truth. We can't escape reality. We can ignore it, sure. But if it's raining, 
It's raining. And it's time to wear a coat. I want to help you to grab reality by the ball and make reality yours. On Google, I encountered some people about their depression, family issues, etc. I love to talk to them, because I want to help them. It was my calling to help online people. Behind the screen, I can really analyze and think what I want to type, instead of some Dr. Phil show. Not anything against the man, he's incredible. I just want something a little more private. If you want your fantasies to last forever, then you have to tame reality first. Easier said than done though. May take a handful of years to recover, but it'll be worth it in the end. I may be in a shoddy situation myself, but I want to be your assistance in some sort of way. If it involves money, I have none, sorry. Online tips and information is what I mostly provide. We can stay up all night chatting if you want to. Contact me on Hangouts. Greendrive8gmail.com So, what was Google like for me? Well, let me rewind a little bit through this bulletin. Dank memes trap accounts roleplay communities. Random Xuo posts online beef best friends summer Google bugs g golden coin most reshares I had in the posts. Reshare havoc spamming followers. Basically that's all I can recall. Being Kamito Hatch and RP Master, it was already hard enough to get rid of the RP Master nickname itself. Lots of evolution I saw in myself and in others, it was a fun ride. If I had a song to describe the journey, it'll probably be Dead Mouse's Stay Huge Mo5 fan, I know. I just want to say, I love the journey, it was amazing. And I love everyone who was on this journey with me. I've been on since 2014, and boy did I enjoy. Thank you guys for everything, and thank you Google for one of the best phrases of my life to pass. Remember, part of the journey is the end, so let's not be disappointed, let us be glad for the moments we shared together. The End